Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. We begin with a Primetime News follow-up. The National Water Commission says it is moving ahead with plans to reclaim prime lands in Norbrook, St. Andrew. This as a ballooning number of squatters have taken up residence on the property. The illegal structures being built have drawn the ire of legitimate landowners who have complained to the authorities and to our newsroom. Now the authorities have responded explaining that they will be taking action. Norbrook, St. Andrew, arguably every aspiring homeowner's dream address, but the cost of housing and land is out of the reach of many. Homes are being sold in the area for as high as 538 million Jamaican dollars. As for land, we came across a 16-acre residential lot on the market for a little over 300 million dollars. Then you have this area of land owned by the National Water Commission mission, approximately 520 acres, home to several squatters. In response to our queries, the NWC confirmed that 420 acres are sensitive watershed areas where people are erecting illegal concrete structures. Minister with Responsibility for Water, Matthew Samuda, insists the state agency has been taking steps to address the situation. We will follow the law, we will follow the policy policy guidelines and we'll be engaging with all the appropriate state agencies and admittedly we have we have served notices on the squatters in question um, how we approach it will be in a manner that preserves the dignity of anyone in in that space but the land will be protected because NWC does have its challenges it will have to leverage the volume of that land but people must be approached in a in a dignified manner but the government will protect its land. 18 eviction notices, according to the NWC, were served in 2009. But since then, the squatter settlement has ballooned, with new structures being built and more people moving in, which raises questions about whether enough effort is being made to protect the watershed area. The process is what it is, and it does take a particular amount of time. But we are in the process of acting and the land will be protected and um, will be developed accordingly when the time comes. The minister revealed that 100 acres of the land can be developed without significant environmental impact and the government will be examining the possibility of leveraging the value of this property for the benefit of the NWC. The NWC, we were also told, is in dialogue with the National Land Agency and the Urban Development Corporation with a view of designing a comprehensive development plan for the area.